Welcome! This video will demonstrate how to use Zotero to create citations in Microsoft Word. Before you start using Zotero to cite sources within Microsoft Word, you'll want to do three things. One, download the desktop application for Zotero from zotero.org. Two, populate Zotero with sources that you want to draw upon. Three, open Zotero on your desktop. Here's my Zotero. Now, let's move to Microsoft Word to see how it works. Have your paper open in Microsoft Word. In Word, you should see the Zotero menu. This usually is installed automatically as part of the Zotero desktop installation process. If you don't see this menu, you'll have to troubleshoot and install it separately in order to use Zotero in Microsoft Word. So if you have the menu and when you're ready to cite, place your cursor where you want to insert a citation. Go to the Zotero menu and choose Add, Edit, Citation. The first time that you do this, you'll have the option to change the citation style from the default. APA is my default, um, so um, I'm happy with that. If I wanted to change it, I could choose another on this list in the pop-up window or go to Manage Styles for many more styles. Since I'm okay with APA, I'm going to click OK. okay. Now you'll notice where I placed the cursor, citation appeared in brackets, and also this little pop-up window bordered in red with the Z has appeared. That window is where I can search for my sources um, to add a citation to the paper. You can search by author, title, keyword, any tags you've entered, etc. And so I'm going to search for Alan. I find my source here from the auto text that's popping up. I select that one, and when I'm ready, I hit Enter. Now, my source is included in an in-text citation. Let me show you that again. For this first sentence, I want to actually cite two different sources. So I'll show you how to do that. Place the cursor where I want the citation. Go to Add, Edit citation. I'll search for Batia and select that source. Now I'll search for Horn, select that source, and hit enter. Now I have an in-text citation that cites two different sources. Just a note, if your Citation style uses footnotes or endnotes. All you have to do is create that footnote or endnote number, place your cursor where the citation should appear, and then add the reference the same way. Depending on your citation style and the situation, you may sometimes need to modify a citation. It's very important not to edit the citation right in Microsoft Word. Instead, use the Zotero functionality to modify a citation so the change doesn't get overwritten. For instance, in this sentence, you'll notice that there's a direct quote in it. That means in APA style that I'm going to want to include a page number. Again, instead of editing this in-text citation directly to include this page number, I'm going to go to Add Edit Citation. The little pop-up window comes up, and this time I'm going to click on the Z and select Classic U. This box has an option for page number, so I'm going to type in 386 for the page number and click OK. That adds the page number to the in-text citation. As another example, this same sentence begins with what's known as a signal phrase, actually using the names of the authors 
that are cited in the in-text citation. Um, so it's not necessary to repeat the authors in the in-text citation. Instead of omitting the authors from the in-text citation directly, I select the citation, I go to add edit citation, again, I go to classic view, and there's a little checkbox to suppress the author. I'll click OK, and now those authors are not duplicated in the in-text citation. However, they are still associated with this source. Keep in mind, the classic view that we just saw is also useful for a full view of your Zotero library in case you're having trouble tracking down a source that you just know is in your library. So that's how to add in-text citations, also footnotes or endnotes using this add edit citation button. Whenever you're ready, you can generate the complete bibliography of citations for the end of your paper because Zotero has been keeping track. First, type the name for your bibliography. Since I'm using APA style, I will type references. Now, go to the Zotero menu uh, once again and click Add Edit Bibliography. The bibliography in your chosen citation style will appear. I have three sources that I've cited in my paper all appearing on the bibliography, the references list. At this point, it's possible that you'll see something that needs to be fixed in these citations. So for example, in this Allen and Cool article, you'll notice that the article title is in title case. In APA style, we use sentence case for article titles. Again, it's very important not to simply retype it in Microsoft Word because what will happen is the next time you draw on this source uh, or as you add more citations uh, to your paper, that change is going to get overwritten. It's much better to go back into your Zotero library and fix any errors that you see there. When you're finished with the paper, congratulate yourself. As a final step, it's recommended to create a copy of the paper and then unlink the citations. Here's that option in the Zotero menu. That will unlink that copy from your Zotero library. That makes it easier for the recipient of your paper to read and comment upon your paper with no unforeseen issues. Zotero can save you a lot of time when you're writing. I hope this video has been helpful in getting you started. Do you have other questions about using Zotero? Towson University's Cook Library can help. Contact Brittany Ballard or Shauna Gass. Brittany's email is bballard at towson.edu. Shauna's email is sgass at towson.edu. Have questions that go beyond Zotero? Visit bit.ly forward slash tu ask a librarian to get assistance in whatever format you prefer, from chat and text to phone and video conference calls. And with that, Thanks for watching and happy researching.